it's a thing. It's a thing, you know. It's a phenomenon, a self-contained phenomenon within the travel industry. Yeah, I mean, you know, captive audience, one after the other. They can't leave. Well, Tampa International has a pretty good reputation as a great airport. Yeah. So I figure this is something that can only catch on and get copied by other airports. Yeah, like, O'Hare will start doing this within a couple of weeks. Yeah, I think we're going to start a trend of comedy in airports. Any city that's got a comedy scene is going to start putting comedians on their trains. You got to. Yeah. Comedians on plane trains yeah. getting coffee. Second city plane train. Yeah, you see comedy plane sellers team. plane yeah. train. It's gonna UC, be like a farm yeah. team. Yeah, it's gonna be the new boot camp of comedy. The groundlings plane train. Yeah, all these comedy yeah. things are like, listen, you pay us money, we'll teach you how to do stuff. You do one showcase at the end. Yeah. So how about this? Eighty shows in a day, all back to back. Yeah. All different audience. Yep. None of them have heard any of this stuff before. No, no shows longer than five minutes. No. Yeah. Absolutely fresh take every single time. Here. Oh, no, no, we're no. Okay. Bound for All right, welcome aboard the plane train, everyone. Some of you saw the microphone on your way in and went, oh, no, oh, God, please, no. So, if, oh, God, no, please. Well, I'm about to confirm your worst fears. Dream come true. Uh, in an effort to provide some added value to your travel experience, uh, Tampa International Airport is booking live entertainment. And lucky for you, it's a stand-up comedy show. That's right, it's going to be stand-up comedy at lunchtime on a weekday in a box that you can't get out of, which is when most good stand-up comedy happens. So lucky, lucky you. Uh, my name is Clark Brooks. I'm your host. However, some of you I sure travel by plane often, though you probably recognize me as, oh God, oh God, not that. Oh God, no. Not this guy. For three hours next to me on a flight to Toledo. Not for two hours on the way to Detroit. Oh God, not for three hours to Cleveland. No. After he's eating a burrito for lunch, probably. I'm sure there's no way he didn't eat a burrito for lunch. Uh, my name is Clark Brooks. I am your host. Uh, a lot of you travel by plane. You probably recognize me, though, as the guy you don't want to sit next to for three hours because I'm getting both armrests and all the magazines, whether you like it or not. I am uh, an older comic. I know I'm getting old because I'm finding it difficult to do things that other people do with ease. Uh, for example, now when I drop something, it's just like, oh well, I don't own that thing anymore. Kind of sucks, I like that iPhone. Plane train in it. Plane train. But yeah, so, you know, people on the train, you're the host. Yeah. I'm hosting, I'm telling one joke. We should have you get back up to close it at the end. We could. It seems like uh, there's so little time anyway. Out. But yeah, I should probably, Imagine if, if I was a, a true closer. host, there you go. I would That's close show, it out. Everybody. Oh, man. If you enjoyed it, or even if you didn't, let yeah. us hear about it on social if media. If you felt anything at all. I like to think some people fly back to, you know, wherever they are, China, New yeah. Zealand, or whatever. Hey, you'll never believe what I saw at the airport. Okay, they're going to go, in America? Yeah. They got stand-up comics they, on the trains. They love comedy so much, they put it on the trains at the airport. And they go, it's, you know, it's not even good comedy, really, I, but it's clean. And then their friends go, they have a train at the airport? And they go, whoa, weird. Yeah. America's crazy. That is it for me. A total of 30 seconds and one joke. It's time for me to yield the stage to your headliner. That's right, there's another comic. Please welcome Mr. John Jacobs. All right. Yeah, plane train. Come on. All right, and the crowd goes mild. Good. <laughs> you clapped. I, I appreciate that. What's up, plane train? I like you guys. You're into it. Happy you're looking at me like, please don't. 
Please welcome Mr. John Jacobs. You guys are actually clapping and stuff. You don't want to know how many trains are like, no. <laughs> Everybody else has a look of like, I'm not here right now. I'm going to zone out. Good to be here. All right. I'm sorry this is happening. <laughs> but no, this is the best thing that could be going on. We've only done 80 trains already, and uh, they've all gone perfect. So I assume this one going no different. Yeah, good to be on here. Try and stand up. This is just as weird for me as it is for you. Trust me. It hurts me more than it hurts you. I know. I got to deal with the heckling from the subway first. Yeah, you guys are live! Good to be here. This is my favorite club. I like it. You guys are half getting into it. They're still completely shocked. Like, is this real? That's true. We're doing stand-up on a plane train. It's probably not even called a plane train, but we've been calling it that for the last few hours. I've been on this train for like eight hours doing the same five minutes for ten people at a time. So hopefully it's pretty funny now. Very weird thing we're doing. But you know, nothing better than a captive audience to tell comedy to. So let's do some G-rated material that uh, nobody could possibly be offended at. So uh, I called a psychic the other day. Said I want to come in and get a reading. She said, what time? I was like, bad start. Bad start. Bad start. <laughs> Thank God one person enjoyed that. Like, bad start. Ah, <laughs> dumb ones. Ah, come on, it's gonna get better. So, uh, let's start with some cute stuff. I, uh, I called a psychic the other day, said I want to come in and get a reading. She said, what time? I was like, bad start. <laughs> oh, bad start. Uh, that's a cute one. Come on. It's on a popsicle stick. What's up, man? Welcome to the comedy show. What are the odds, huh? <laughs> I think uh, they should sell spheres of chicken at baseball games and call it a foul ball. Oh, man. That is just genius. I don't care how you cut it. Oh, come on. Get me on Shark Tank, please. I was actually uh, homeless in Japan for a little bit. I was a Tokyo drifter. Oh my god, is that a Fast and Furious pun? I actually used to be homeless in Japan for a little bit. I was a Tokyo drifter. Come on. I used to be uh, homeless in Japan for a little bit. I was a Tokyo drifter. Okay. I was actually uh, homeless for a bit in Japan. I was a Tokyo drifter. Tokyo, come on. <laughs> I'm bleeding my heart out for you guys. <laughs> Is that a Fast and Furious joke? That's right. <laughs> we did not pay for this. You didn't pay for this. It's okay. Uh, some people tell me I look kind of homeless with my hair. What do you guys think of the hair? Too long? Should I cut it? How am I doing? What do you think about the hair? Too long? Should I cut it? You guys still here? My ghost? I'm in the sixth sense? Thanks, man. This isn't even their stop. They just want to leave. <laughs> what do you think about my hair? Too long? Should I cut it? I don't know. I like it. Yeah, I think it looks good. Somebody told me I look like Ronald McDonald without the makeup on. Hmm. I think it looked good. Yeah, it looked like Bruce Jenner or something. It looked good. Well, you know, the person who was once, yeah, like Shaggy's going through a transition or something. A homeless woman yelled Mick Jagger's daughter at me the other day. I was like, jeez, that's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I grow my hair like this because I live in Ebor around a lot of homeless people. So I figured if I just look like one of them, they'll stop bothering me. You know, it's like in the zombie movies when somebody pretends to be a zombie, so I leave them alone. And uh, it's worked. I've started preemptively stopping homeless people as they walk up. I'm like, do you have a dollar? They're like, that's what I was going to say. I'm like, all right, well, you let me know if you find one. We'll split it. How's that sound? And it's working out. You know, I've started preemptively stopping homeless people as they come up to me. I'm like, do you have a dollar? They're like, that's what I was going to say. That's crazy. You tell me you find one. We'll split it. It's like living in limbo. Yeah. It's, it's pretty much the limbo experience. I hope the train gets stuck. That's, right. That's the only thing that happens. And then we do an hour yet. long. Yeah, the only thing that works on the plane train is the mic. Yeah. So it starts getting really hot in there. Yeah, the announcements come on. <laughs> Folks, uh, it turns out the only thing working right now is the comedy show on the plane train. You're going to. Uh oh. Hey, screw you, man. I'm doing my comedy here. <laughs> magical man in the... We're already cleared for this. I don't know why I'm getting heckled. <laughs> what, they missed the first two and a half hours of this? 
<laughs> yeah, this is like a scary universal ride right now. We're going through the tunnel on the Willy Wonka or something. When they're on the thing and it gets scary. You know? Come with me and you'll be doing stand up inside the airport plane train. My roommate, he's got the Altoids 10 in the house, you know, that old Altoids 10. On the front of the Altoids 10, it still says, Altoids, the curiously strong mint. I feel like when it comes to anything I'm putting in my mouth, there shouldn't be any curiosity involved. That's not a reassuring thing to hear. When somebody's like, yeah, man, these hot dogs are curiously beefy. They're really good. You like them. It's awkward to get into material on a train full of people. It's tough to decide where to go. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm trying to live healthier. You guys think you're healthy? You trying to be healthy, live healthy this year, be healthy. Yeah, it's good, it's good. It's, it's, tr it's good to be healthy, but it's hard to be healthy because uh, everything's so good and so bad for you at the same time. It's hard to tell what's really good. Like the front of the package will be like, made with real fruit in mind. You're like, what? Like we thought about fruit when we made this. You know, we owe you nothing. 100% juice, turn it around, contains no juice. It's a brand name. <laughs> the same way, make these bad cereals, you know, it'll be like, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is part of a balanced breakfast. What part? You know, the negative end? Like, what do you mean? Good can't exist without evil? Is that what you're telling me? Food jokes. It's the most neutral thing I can talk about, really. It's, uh, I went to Taco Bell a couple days ago. I still don't feel okay. I, <laughs> I got a quesarita and a quesalupa. They're just smashing together words and calling it food now at Taco Bell. The it's a Berlupa! It's a Don Dorito! It's a Mountain Dew Rito! It's a burrito that tastes like Mountain Dew, and a Mountain Dew that tastes like burrito! Eat what you drink and drink what you eat! Get twisted, kids! What I'm trying to say is I'm a marketing genius, really. It's the thought that counts. When has that ever been the thing that counts? Really? Yeah, I was gonna pick you up from the airport, but uh, I just didn't want to, you know? Thought about it, didn't do it. Sorry. Anything. It's the thought that counts, you know? You ever heard that? It's the thought that counts. Has that ever been the case? Thought that counts? Yeah, you know, I was gonna pick you up from the airport, but uh, didn't want to. You know, thought about it, didn't want to. I like it. Half of you were into it, the back half is just pretending this doesn't exist. It's like the kid in Sixth Sense right now. <laughs> really good. It's the thought that counts, you know? You ever hear that phrase? It's the thought that counts. When has it ever been the thought that counts? Ever. Anytime? Yeah, I was gonna pick you up from the airport, but uh, you know, didn't want to. Sorry, thought about it. Get off my back. I don't know you anyway. <laughs> it's the thought that counts, you know? Ever heard that phrase? It's the thought that counts. Has it ever been the thought that counts? Ever? Yeah. It's like, yeah, you know, I was gonna pick you up from the airport, but uh, didn't want to. So I didn't. So I thought about it. Get off my back, you know? <laughs> It's the thought that counts, though, you know? You ever hear that? It's the thought that counts. When has it ever been the thought that counts? Ever. Yeah, I was gonna pick you up from the airport, but, uh, didn't want to. Thought about it. Sorry. Please remember to hold hand firmly at all times. Remember to hold the handrails firmly, too, guys. You know, just work that in. Tip your weight, staff. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's the thought that counts. You ever hear that phrase? It's the thought that counts. When has that ever been the case? Yeah, I was gonna pick you up from the airport, but uh, didn't want to. Thought about it. Get off my back. <laughs> what about this? It's, it's a thought that counts, you know? It's a thought that counts. When has that ever been the case? Or it's a thought that counts. Yeah, I was gonna pick you up from the airport, but uh, didn't want to. Thought about it. Sorry. Thought that counts. I mean it. It's the thought that counts, guys. You ever hear that? It's the thought that counts. Has that ever been the case? Ever? Thought that counts. Yeah, I was gonna pick you up from the airport, but uh, didn't want to. Thought about it. Get off my back. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are great. <laughs> I understand. It's a very weird situation. Trust me, it's... Imagine how I feel. <laughs> We've been doing this for a while. I don't even know which direction we're going anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's a good view, though. I like the view. It makes Tampa look like a real city. It's beautiful. Isn't that fun? You know, Tampa, it looks like a great city from far away. Friends, you take friends from the airport, they're like, this is great. You drive downtown, it's like a bunch of one-way roads and a Quiznos. So, this is it. You ever laugh so hard you farted? Everybody else at church is like, who's this guy? I know, I can't even, it's far too much. I know, can't even suggest 
anything. It's the thought that counts, you know? <laughs> got a friend named Mike Kidding. Why am I still doing this? I got a, <laughs> I got a friend named Mike Kidding, and I told him he's got to name his first two kids just and not. Because how much fun would that be? Hey, I'm just kidding. He's not kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. And he's not kidding. I'm not kidding. Just kidding. He's just kidding. Who's on third? That's a great genius job for me. Fantasy football? Oh man, is that still going on? Fantasy football is fun. I like football. But uh, yeah, I went to a, went to the bank the other day. <laughs> yeah, I went to a bank the other day. You heard of these places, bank? You know this? Is this relatable? <laughs> went to the bank. I tried to deposit coins. I had a bag of coins. So I wanted to deposit them, you know, get rent. And uh, the guy goes, uh, oh, you got to wrap up all those coins. You want to deposit them. I go, you don't have a change machine? He goes, ah, no, we don't have a change machine. Uh, Publix across the street, they got a change machine. I'm like, you guys are a bank. Isn't money like your main business? You know, you don't have a change. You're telling me I got to go to the grocery store to deposit my coins? It's like going to the post office. Like, yeah, you got any envelopes? They're like, ah, you got to go to Toys R Us. You want envelopes? And so we don't like, got any of that stuff. I get it. We're tired. We're not into comedy right now. We're on a weird universal ride we can't leave. <laughs> Welcome to the Haunted Mansion Tour, where terrible jokes get told. All right, I think that's good. Well, that's the kind of feedback I'm looking for. <laughs> a reassuring, no, it's good despite this dead silence. No, oh, trust us, we're enjoying this. It's so funny how comedy is like the worst thing to sing. It is. Like, it's supposed to be a fun, nice thing. People are like, oh, I gotta... I gotta think about funny scenarios and, you know, reflect on humor. Like, if you show up somewhere and you're not expecting it and there's some guy playing a guitar, you might yeah. go, oh, this is nice. Yeah. But not if somebody's telling jokes. You're, that's never gonna be your reaction. Yeah, like, oh, this is gonna be yeah, fun. Because jokes are opinions, too. And yeah. People, people don't want to hear your opinion. They on don't want to hear it. Anytime you see the opening credits of movies, you know, where they list everybody's name right up front, all I'm thinking is, this better be a good movie. Or I'm just learning all the names of the people I don't like now. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get the credits out early. All right, thanks for being here, guys. That's the whole show. Woo! Hashtag plane train on social media. Let them know you saw it. Let them know you love it. You guys are awesome. Have a good night. Did you enjoy the, the plane train, sir? Did you enjoy the show? That's what I like to see. 100% of the audience into it. <laughs> well, enjoy uh, your rental car. All right. <laughs> Nobody's getting on from here. Huh? Empty train. Oh, jeez. Yeah. This is the best one. Yeah, I'd say. You guys have endured about four minutes of this, <laughs> and we've made it to the end. So you guys have been absolutely amazing. You know, for the first minute and a half, maybe. <laughs> if you have any feedback, hashtag plane train on any social media. We'll see what your feedback is. You know, be nice, be mean. We'll go from there. You've been great. See you soon, everybody. <laughs>
Right, well, that's no. Not funny. Not funny. Not funny. Not funny. Not funny. But uh, went to the bank the other day. You heard of these places, big? Uh, went to the bank, had a bunch of coins, and uh, I was trying to deposit them. They're like, ah, you gotta roll up your coins, man. You can't deposit. I was like, you guys have a change machine? They're like, ah, no. You gotta go to Publix across the street. You want a change machine? I was like, aren't you guys a bank? Like, isn't money your thing? <laughs> you gotta go to the grocery store? It's like going to the post office. You got envelopes? I oh, you gotta go to Toys R Us. You guys have been amazing! Thank you so much. Hashtag plane train. I was actually homeless in Japan for a little bit. I was a Tokyo drifter. Oh my gosh. Does it get better than that? Probably not. Is this the last stop? <laughs> I don't know. Probably. Well, you guys were great, and I mean it. <laughs> Have a good day. Plane train. Hashtag plane train. Let us know on social media how you feel. Hashtag plane train. You guys were great. But, uh, yeah, I was at the bank the other day. You heard this bank? You heard these places? Uh, I was at the bank the other day with some coins, trying to deposit coins. They go, uh, oh, yeah, uh, you got you to roll those up. Now, if you want to deposit coins, you got to roll those up. Uh, I go, you don't have a change machine? They go, ah, you got to go to Publix if you want to use a change machine. It's like, aren't you a bank? You know, isn't this like a money store? Is it, isn't it? You tell me I got to go to the grocery store to handle my money needs? It's like going to the post office. You're like, can I get some envelopes? They're like, ah, you got to go to Toys R Us, man. If you wanna. All right, well, I guess that's the show, guys. <laughs> so you've been amazing. If you enjoyed or didn't like it, hashtag plane train on any social media. Let us know what you think. You know, you're probably not going to see another comedy show on an airport tram ever again. So, you know, hopefully I see you guys soon. If not, I really thought we were at the stop. That's why I was wrapping up so early. <laughs> but it's the thought that counts, you know. You ever heard that phrase, it's the thought that counts? When has that ever been the case, ever? You know, ah, I was going to pick you up from the airport, but uh, didn't want to. Thought about it. Get off my back. Speaking of getting off my back, see you guys later. You've been amazing. Thank you so much, everybody. You're awesome. Best plane train of the day, I'd say. Wonderful. Good night, guys. <laughs>